grew up in a Mormon family. We were raised, you couldn't drink coffee, you smoke cigarettes, uh, you know, none of that stuff. I mean, it was all a sin. I wasn't sure there was a God at that time when, when I was going to the Mormon church and I was trying to pull away from it and I kept getting all this different information and misinformation. First time I was about 16 years old that I walked away from the church and you know, I was sneaking out at night and going out with my friends and just getting in trouble. And it was mostly drinking and I'd smoke pot and, and try different things. I ended up in jail for drunk in public the first time. The first time I was in jail was a little scary, but it, you know, you get used to it after you go back there so many times. It, it's, or you get to a point to where you just don't care anymore, and that's kind of where I was at. And I, I just kept messing up and doing stupid stuff. You know, I wasn't, wasn't following Christ at all. But, you know, I'd get, I'd read the Bible and I'd get out of jail and I'd, I'd go and go to church a couple times and I'd just forget about the Bible and go back to doing what I was doing. I started drinking when I was about 16 years old, and, and I was I tried to quit, and I I go right back to it the first sign of trouble. I was back drinking, you know. And living with an addiction is really hard. You, you're uh, you, you need it, you know. You feel like your body needs to go out and get drunk, and needs tobacco, and needs this, and needs that. When you get that empty feeling, and you can't just it just doesn't go away. You just try to fill it with something. I got a girl pregnant, and. Uh, she had a baby, and I started trying to get serious with, with God, you know, and it, when I got, started going to church out on the streets, after it was after my son was born, it wasn't permanent, you know, it was like it'd be there one day and gone the next. Eventually, I got divorced and took my kids and moved back to California. And when I did that, the uh, police came and took them because she had filed custody in Texas for my children. And that's how I ended up out here. When they came and took my kids, it just broke me down. I, I can't describe the ugliness that I felt. It just dropped me to my knees and I started crying and, and praying and crying and... It was dark. My, my spirit was really dark, my heart was dark and... You know, I was... I wasn't the same person I am now, that's for sure. I, I believe God had to open the hole in my heart for Him, not for what I was trying to shove down my throat, you know. I mean, God just walked me through it and led me right through it. And I know that this was part of God's plan today. I know that everything that's happened now is it's God, God's leading the way. No one ever cared for me like Jesus. There's no other.